Now let's hear from former captain of the senior national team, Steven Appiah, the man who qualified Ghana to its first ever World Cup in Germany 2006 in a tournament where Otoado was part of. He's been heaping praises on the boys for scaling the head of the Super Eagles. I was very, very tense and that reminds me when we played against South Africa at the FNB Stadium when we beat them 2-0, Michael Essie and Matthew Amua uh, scored the goal. And when we played against, against Cape Verde, all my career I've never played a game under pressure. I see. Local, uh, sorry, from local across of hope, from the national team in Europe, I've never played under pressure. But that particular game was the last game that would qualify us to um, Germany, and I play under. I mean, I was so, I was so tense. I couldn't even have my breakfast, no uh, lunch. Match day, you are somebody who would be talking to us, who would try to ginger us. But like, today, you are very, very quiet. And I told them that actually today, the match has dawned on me. And that's the same thing today when I was watching the game. I was thinking about these guys, and I knew what they were going through. And playing at Abuja with 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 sixty thousand fans, yes, with with the with the uh, Eagles fans, it, it's not going to be easy. We got an an heli go. I was a little bit was like mm, it was too heavy yeah. but you know i mean when you have the chance you have to but they tried and i think that uh, uh, he got it right and you have like 70 minutes to end up the game they equalized but the way the penalty came i was like i was a little bit what is going to happen here we have to be careful because these people, they can do anything to, to win this game. I mean, it's the last game to go to the World Cup. This opportunity to congratulate the coach and the technical team. I think they have done so well. To gather the boys for the for three days or four days to put that performance, I think that they have done so well. And Nathaniel, listen, I'm so, so, so happy because standing there, I'm putting myself into their shoes. I'm, 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 I'm recollecting when we were hoping to go to our first World Cup and we qualify. And these guys, I think that 95% of them, or maybe all of them, they haven't been to the World Cup before. I mean, Jordan and one or two. And these are the guys today, I don't, I don't know how they will feel. I mean, if they, they, should, they should ride a bicycle to come back to Accra, or they should take a, 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 a Uber. I mean, I, I'm just imagining how the dressing room looks like now. And let me say kudos to Ghanaians for, for their support. Kumase was, was massive. And today, I mean, every house, you can see that everybody has gathered and they, they to cheer the blasters and then the guys they have made us proud.